Good morning, everyone. Okay, so welcome to our slow flow practice on this beautiful Tuesday morning. It's the first day of June and things are looking up. Okay, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to kind of explore different props that you might want to use. Um, so here, instead of using a block today, uh, you can use blocks if you have blocks accessible. You can use a chair for this practice, but you can also use, you'll also need a strap. And if you don't have a strap, I have these fancy pants, these leggings, which I'll probably use for tomorrow's class right here in my hand. All right, so let's come into a seated position. Shift from side to side so that you can feel your sit bones and your tailbone connect with your mat. And just make any adjustments. Uh, we just rolled out of bed, so you might be feeling a little bit stiff to start. Right, and then land in your seat. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale out your mouth. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. The next one, try your best to relax as deep as possible. Take a full inhale. And empty. Notice how this feels to land on your mat this early morning. And this is the opportunity to set the tone for the rest of your day. Stepping forward with your best foot. And in our pace of fast everything, this is a challenging time too where we're forced to slow all the way down. Now you can use that as a positive or a negative, being forced to slow down, but I'm gonna choose to move positively through this, this slow, the slowness. And the beauty of a slow flow practice is that we can really create space between reaction and movement, whether that be physical movement or thought movement. Let's place your hands on your chest, uh, just above, just below the collarbones. Fan the fingers open wide. Now the middle fingers are just about to touch. Good. On the inhale, feel the chest rise, fingertips separate. They might not separate very far and then exhale, soften back together. Breathe in and out. Feel the space in those tight little ribs at the top of your chest. And then lower the hands down to your ribs. Same idea. So fan the fingers open wide. Maybe the middle fingers are about to hover. Inhale right into the hands. Feel the ribs open to the left and the right side of your space. And they soften back together. Good, full breath in. Feel the spaciousness of the ribs. All the way down. 
Okay, now one hand onto the belly and one hand onto the low back. Same idea, feel the breath. Move the hands away from the center of the body with your breathing. All right, now let's just let the hands land on your lap and see if you could take two more breaths. Feel the entire fullness of your torso. Front, back, sides. On the last breath, try your best not to strain at the top. So inhale, fill the entire torso without strain. And soften back down. Again, all right, roll your shoulders out and then change the cross of your leg. Grab your tights or your strap, whatever you have. And then bring the, the strap out in front of you. Make it nice and taut. Hands will be a little bit wider than your shoulders. Take a full breath and bring your arms over your head. Then exhale, slide them back behind you, stretch through the chest. Take this nice and slow. I'm gonna turn this way so I have a little more space. Yeah, so the arms are behind you. And then inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, come forward. Only go as far as comfortable for you. Now, if there is any spot where it might feel a little bit too tight or you're not feeling um, the best stretch or it feels painful, then widen your grip. Take a longer grip. And inhale to bring the arms up. Exhale to slide them forward. Now, the next round... As we bring the arms behind us, find that sweet spot, stay there. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, bring them back behind your head possibly and just hold. Hold, feel that nice big stretch. Three breaths. Now what's interesting is how the chest and the neck play with how the chin feels down might feel pretty good to look up. Now focus on those tight little ribs that we started breathing into at the beginning of class and breathe right there. Now finish off the circle. So as we come all the way back behind us and then inhale right back up. Yeah, all right, hands come out, set your strap off to the side, shake it out, and lay on your tummy. Come right onto the belly. As you come down, slide yourself all the way over to the left side of your mat. Bring your arms out to a football pose or fingertips in line with the shoulders. Actually, you know what, let's bring the palms down, elbows to cactus. Take a breath in. And on the exhale, roll onto your right side. Bring your left leg behind you. Now you can play with whatever position of that right arm feels good and allows you to have a nice stretch across the chest. And it is first thing in the morning. Maybe you're, you've already had some movement and you're doing this practice later in the day. So you might feel more flexible. You might even feel tighter. But these are the first few poses. So just take your time. See if you could get the front of your shoulder to stay on the mat as you roll back. Breathe deep. The expansion of the inhale and the exhale. Now this is a really good pose to come into for new moms who are carrying babies. Maybe you're sitting for a long time. Hopefully we can bring more balance from the left, the right side, the front, and the back. All right. Now carefully come back onto your tummy. Slide over to your right. Shimmy, shimmy over. Arms could come to cactus. Take a big breath in. 
Exhale, roll onto your left side. So come all the way over. And stretching through the chest. Now it's the, the part of the chest that just kind of, well, you guys stay where you are. It's kind of the, those couple of inches right between the shoulder and the pectoralis. So keep that part on your mat as you roll into it. Okay, breathe into the chest, breathe into the space. Take two or three more breaths. And just enjoy opening up right across the heart. Good. All right, so come back onto the tummy. Hands under your shoulders to push yourself back. Make your way into tabletop position. And this is where the chair will come handy. If you have your blocks, you'll place the blocks underneath your elbows. Otherwise, I'm going to use my chair for this just to kind of give you an example of how you can use the blocks or, the, or sorry, your furniture as props. So we'll come on to tabletop. Bring your elbows to the edge of the chair or the edges of your block. Interlace your hands, almost like in a prayer position. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, let your chest melt towards the floor. Oh. Again. Again. And just get right into the stretch. So here is the progression. You can stay right here. Maybe if you're on blocks, you stay come into a lower height of the block. Or you can also do this right on the mat. So as I'm down on the elbows, crawl forward, but keep your hips up high. If you're in taking puppy stretch shape on the floor, it's also known as melting heart or puppy stretch. I'm gonna come back up onto the chair so you can see that. And as we let the chest Lower towards the mat. We feel a lot of space in the back of the shoulders. Breathe deep. See if you can relax a little bit deeper in the next two breaths. Let the traps, those muscles behind the neck and the upper shoulders, relax. All right, so come forward, bring the knees in, move your props out of the way, and make your way right into downward dog, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Yeah, let's just do one roll of the spine here. So come up high onto your toes, Tuck your tailbone a lot, as if you're trying to come into a bit of a cat stretch. And as you wave your spine forward, feel low back, middle back, upper back. Open up the chest, open up the throat, look forward. Now bend your knees, pull your hips back to your heels, and lift your hips up again. Take a breath in, and breath out. 10 steps to the top of your space, walking forward nice and slow. About halfway to your hands now. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bend the knees, drape your body over your thighs, grab for the opposite elbows. Nod your head, yes and no, keep your neck relaxed. And weight of the spine hanging forward. Hands to your shins, halfway lift, stretch your chest. Fold, exhale. Inhale, roll yourself up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Come all the way up, come to Mountain Pose, Tadasana. Just hang out here, standing nice and tall. Feel the soles of your feet on your mat. 
Now, feel the heat, maybe the blood is moving towards the legs. So there's a transition of temperature and of body, of breath. Now interlace your hands behind you. Notice which thumb is on top. Take a big breath in, open the chest, hug your shoulder blades around your spine. Now press your knuckles away from your backside. Lift your chest. Look up to the ceiling. Feel free to use your strap, maybe your leggings or whatever you have on, <laughs> whatever you're using. Good, and then release the hands. Take a full breath and reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend the elbows. And imagine that you're trying to tap the elbows right into your belt loops, your imaginary belt loops. And inhale, reach back up again. And then exhale, bring the arms behind you, taking the opposite thumb on top. Big breath in, open the chest. Exhale, soft through the elbows as you hug the shoulder blades around your spine. Lift up across your heart, firm through your thighs. Keep breathing. Nice, big breath in and out through the nose. Now inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows, hook them into your belt loops. Take a full breath in, reach. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift to lengthen. Hands to the mat, step back with your right foot, drop your right knee. Your hands can either stay on the floor, they can come up onto your block, your chair, or they can come right up onto your thigh. Let the weight of the hips sink down. And breathe into the front of your hip. Now big inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, place your left hand on your thigh, reach up with the right fingertips and take a side bend. Get right into the hips. It's all connected through the front of the body. Spin the right baby finger in, wrap the shoulder blade. And one more breath in. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Wave the spine, inhale, come up high onto your toes, tuck your tailbone, roll the low back, cat stretch through the mid back, cat stretch through the shoulders, now look forward, open the chest, strong plank, bend the knees, pull your hips all the way back, downward dog. Step your right foot beside your right thumb, take this nice and slow. Quiet with the movement, drop the back knee, come up onto your thigh. Sink down into the hips. And find your balance, you might need to widen your stance. Then reach up, let's take a little bit of space here. Big breath and reach up, right hand to thigh, left arm comes up and over. Fan the fingers open wide, turn your baby finger in. Breathe nice and deep. Feel that into the underarm area, all the way into the hip crease. Good. Inhale back up to the center. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back. Come into downward dog again, downward dog. Feel the shoulder blades wrap around the ribs. Point your elbows down, biceps up to the ceiling. Inhale, come up high onto the toes, roll the spine. Wave it forward, wave, 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 roll. The neck will stretch forward. Now this time we're gonna lower the knees to the mat. Have a seat on your heels. 
come onto the right fingertips. Actually, you know what, let's start off here. Let's bring both hands behind you. Take a breath in. Exhale, press your hips up towards the ceiling. Get into the hips. Good. And then lower back down. Take a big breath in. Exhale, press up again. Squeeze through the glutes. Keep the belly contained. Lifting. And lower back down. All right, now this time let's come forward. Curl your toes under so that you're sitting on your heels. Reach back with your right hand onto right heel. Inhale, lift the left arm up and back. Stretch back. <clears throat> Breathe into the sides. And then have a seat. Let's come onto the other side. So left hand, left heel. Reach up and back with the right arm. And sit back. Let's do this two more times on each side. So take your time. Reaching up and back. Feel the, stre the stretch into the sides of the body. <sighs> nice long breath. <sighs> Lifting up, pressing the hips forward. <sighs> Last time on each side. Come all the way through. Find a nice flow with your movement and your breathing. A rhythm, it's like we're kind of dancing here. All right, now the next time, let's have a seat, uncurl your toes. Now, come up to standing on your knees, hands to the low back, hug your shoulder blades around your spine, full camel, lift the chest. Come up, come back. Option to grab the heels. You can elevate the toes again or elevate the heels by curling the toes under. Lift your chest. Come up, come back. Breathe deep. Take four deep breaths here. You're always welcome to keep your hands on the low back if this feels like it's too much of a back bend. Contain the belly. Feel the capacity to breathe in that full, full breath. One hand to the low back at a time. Slowly lift up. Have a seat and take a pause. Let the teeth separate if you're clenching them together, bottom teeth from top. You might feel a rush of heat in your body. Maybe there's a little bit of nausea and that might feel like a lot. So we neutralize here. Steady the breath. Hmm. All right, so come into Downward Dog. Step your right foot forward, come into Warrior Two. Warrior Two, grab your strap as you rise up. And we're gonna have a seat in Warrior Two here. You can take your prop, your strap, wrap it around your neck. And arms will come out, take a big breath and reach from end to end. Exhale, get a little bit deeper. We're here just for the setup. Okay. All right, now bring your right elbow to your front thigh. Left arm will sweep in front of your tummy. Bring your bicep close to your ear. Now roll your chest back. Press your hips forward, roll the heart back. Now from here, you could take your left forearm to cross the low back. Grab for your hip or the waistband of your pant. Roll the chest back a little bit more. Option to come into a full bind. Reaching down, grab your strap. We'll swing it behind you. Drop it down with the left hand, then grab the opposite end with the right. Good. Keep breathing. If you don't need to use the strap, then don't go for it. Pr 
press the hips forward, tuck your right hip underneath you. So you can stay right here, or you can make your way into bird of paradise. So keep this bind. Step forward with your left foot. I'm gonna release my strap, but you can feel free to use yours. Step forward with your left foot so that the feet are at the top of your space. Transfer the weight into your left foot. I'll turn this way so you can see what I'm doing. Transfer the weight into your left foot. And then slowly start to lift up. Take your time. Strong through the right leg. Open your chest. You might look like this where the knee is bent. That's always a nice option. Keep opening up across your heart. I'm gonna spin back around this way. Hopefully I don't fall. <laughs> okay, keep reaching through the toes. Two more breaths. And bend the knee. Step down with the right foot. Step back with your left foot. Now release the bind, let this go. Hands to the mat, step back, downward dog. Whew. Cleansing inhale, and a cleansing exhale. Other side, step forward left foot, warrior two for the setup. Come up, grab your strap, whatever props you're using. Sink down, take a big breath in, get a little bit lower into the legs. Find your foundation here, then land, left elbow. Sweep your right arm in front of you, bicep close to the ear, roll the chest open, reach. So this is plenty, you could stay right here or take your right form to cross the low back. Grab your strap, drop it behind you with the right hand. And use your left hand to hook. So that's what it looks like from the front. My left arm is tucked underneath the left thigh. I'm gonna let go of my strap because I can bind here. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, take as many steps as you need to bring your right foot forward. Step into it. So the feet are about hip width distance apart at the top of your space. Transfer the weight into your right foot. Get really strong, take a breath in. And as you exhale, start to float up, take your time. Take your time. Rise, rising up with confidence. Every step feeling a little bit stronger, every progression a little bit stronger. Roll the chest back. I'm gonna keep the knee bent on this side here. Keep lifting the chest, lift your heart. Breathe. And if you fall, just fall. <laughs> Don't fight it, just fall. Okay, left foot down. Take your time. Don't drop like I just did. Shift the weight into your left foot. Step back, right foot. Let go of the hands. Hands frame the front foot. Downward dog. Big inhale. Big exhale. All right, bring your knees down. Have a seat. And let's just do one pose here to kind of counter the chest, but still offer us a lot of strength. Let's move right into a seated eagle arm. Take a big breath in, reach up. Swing the right arm under your left. Maybe twist tying at the wrists so the palms come together. Pull your elbows down. So instead of bringing them forward, pull them down to your chest. Breathe deep. Tuck your chin in. Lift through the back of your neck. 
Okay, chin up, big inhale, reach up. Exhale, left arm under right, bind at your elbows, then at your wrists. Palm to palm if you can, if not, just twist tying the forearms or hugging the shoulders. Pull the elbows down towards the navel, take a big inhale, exhale, tuck the chin in, lengthen the back of your neck. Lift higher through the back of the neck. Keep compressing the elbows down. <sighs> Lift the chin. Big inhale, reach up. <sighs> Exhale, hands at heart center. And drop your hips off to the side and come right onto your back. If you'd like to take a seated meditation, now is a great time to set yourself up in your seat. If there are any final movements you'd like to take, maybe a twist of any sorts, that might feel really good just to kind of close the practice. Now, wherever you have landed, whether it's seated or in Shavasana, just find a space of stillness. And bring your awareness back to the breath and body. And a big inhale. Exhale to let go of your practice. Breathe in. Exhale, let go of anything that no longer serves you. Take a breath in. And exhale to relax. That's inner practice, slow and steady, that we truly can discover who we are internally. Rather than meeting the external environment, we are grounded and rooted with the internal first. Now, there's no rush, stay here, enjoy. If you have a quiet space, try to stay a little bit longer. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Peace, namaste. We'll see you tomorrow for yin practice. Have a great day. Take care.